on the dangers of Wi-Fi and cell phone radiation. Did you know that microwave radiation is all around us? It comes from cordless phones, iPads, cell towers, and cell phones. And did you know that this can cause health problems such as DNA damage, protein damage, and entrainment? And even worse, everyone is affected by this. However, some people are affected a little more than others, depending on their exposure and their body composition. Now, what is a microwave? Well, a microwave is part of the electromagnetic frequency spectrum, or EMF spectrum. Right here, they are the brown section. Radio frequencies, or RFs, are the lower part of the microwave spectrum, and they are used by cell phones, Wi-Fi, and devices of that nature. How microwaves damage DNA? First, when a microwave hits a cell, it will cause it to heat up and vibrate. Now, this vibration will cause the cell membrane, or that outer layer on the cell, to leak, and this leakage will cause a chain reaction which will damage the DNA inside the cell. Now, boys and girls have some specific risks that are specific to each gender. For boys, they can have a decrease in their sperm count or motility. For, but for girls, it's even worse, because when they are born, they have a set amount of eggs in their body, which means they can acquire damage in them throughout their whole life. And this DNA damage can cause miscarriages, birth defects, and irreparable DNA damage for future generations of girls. Entrainment is where your natural brain waves are disrupted, so it causes a change in your behavior, such as more irritability or just getting annoyed a lot easier. Two minutes of talking on a cell phone with it up to your head will cause two hours of entrainment, and the more you're on, it'll go up exponentially, so a little goes a long way. And you're more vulnerable to entrainment while you're sleeping, because while you're sleeping, your natural brain waves can't reset. There are 600 known proteins in your body that are susceptible to microwave radiation damage. When these proteins are heated, their job will change, and with this change in function, they can be very harmful to the body. There is also plenty of evidence supporting this, such as the World Health Organization, who has classified these as possibly carcinogenic, or cancer-causing. The Lancet, a prestigious medical journal, has also said we must treat these with caution. PubMed is a collection of scientific and scholarly articles which has extensive research published on how these can be damaging to your body. This graph is, a, is from a German study that was done. The blue bars represent the percent of people inside a 400 meter radius of a cell tower with cancer, and the red bars are the people outside the 400 meter radius with cancer. The blue, the blue bars have increased over time, which not only shows that the damage is cumulative, but it also increases your chance of getting cancer. I also had an expert contact. His name was Barry Trower. In the 1960s, he worked for the British Royal Navy and British Secret Service. He was in the Stealth Microwave Warfare Department, and his job was to learn about how microwaves can damage the human body. Later, he debriefed spies on what they knew about this and was a scientific advisor, and throughout his life, became one of the most knowledgeable people in the world on this. He has come out of retirement to give lectures around the world on how these can be damaging. Now, the ethic at the heart of this issue is greed. This comment I found demonstrates this perfectly. It says, what? There's a new study saying radiation causes brain tumors, infertility, headaches, nausea, and cancer? Bury it. Business is booming. This means that the industry is willing to sacrifice public health to get that big paycheck. Now, there have been some solutions put in as well, such as the French who took out Wi-Fi in all their schools, which cost them 174 million euros. They, there have also been uh, people who have protested cell tower installation. And then there have also been attempted lawsuits, but unfortunately, the lawsuits didn't work because they're expensive, and the Telecommunications Act of 1996 forbids you to say no to putting up a cell tower under health concerns. Now, when I was researching, I came across a couple interesting things. The first one is that these cell phones are really needed for communication in some places. They're more cost effective than landlines, and therefore many people choose to get cell phones over landlines, especially in third world countries. I also found a lot of different studies and facts, such as when I was researching DNA, there were many side effects, but I wasn't able to piece them together into a bigger picture. So when I looked for my outside contact, that's what I looked for in that person. I needed somebody who could help me piece all this together into a big picture and give me the whys and hows of all this. 
I also noticed that the risks of this are not very widely known. So that's what led me to creating a website. I wanted it to reach a broad audience, and I wanted the audience to know how to protect themselves and have plenty of evidence. Now, how can you protect yourself? Well, there are a couple things you can do. First of all, you can turn your phone onto airplane mode when you're not using it, or you can turn it off. You can also try to not keep it in your pocket. You can put up EMF carbon-based paint in your house, and it doesn't even have to be the, t the top layer. You can paint normal paint on top, but it will still absorb radiation. And if you're also concerned, you can put up aluminum foil on the walls, the shiny side facing out, and it will reflect, reflect radiation coming in from cell towers. You can also use cables and ethernet cables rather than Wi-Fi for internet because Wi-Fi can be very damaging. You can lastly use corded phones instead of cordless phones to reduce your amount of radiation you're exposed to. Thanks for watching. You have to communicate. Texting is better because it because while you're calling, it's sending off radiation the whole time. While texting, it's just one little blast. Paige. Um, I would not put it on your lap. Uh, and if you have access to Ethernet, definitely choose that over wireless. Sam. What's the most interesting fact you found out during this process? I was really shocked when I found out that girls and uh, suffer irreparable damage in their ovaries. Mark. Okay, so would it be bad if you put your phone in your pocket? Would that be considered like? Yes, that would be bad. If it is not off, it is still giving off radiation trying to connect to a local cell tower. So it will damage you.